Welcome back. Here in Italy, the 16th of December, which will be a Wednesday, there's going to be a general strike of all sectors, public and private, against the economical policies of Draghi. Well, strangely enough, the three main trade unions they show up at the last moment because I remember at the beginning of September there was a general strike and strangely enough they weren't present but they done another type of um, protest or strike against fascism and they even protest against their masters Draghi believe it or not because um, when um, the Green Pass was introduced um, slowly, slowly, August, partially at work, when you go to eat in the, the diner of your company for lunch or whatever, they never said nothing about that. Um, never criticised it or any activated any type of... Um, trade union um, activity against it. When it was introduced fully at work on the 15th of October, it was the same situation. They didn't open mouth, they remained silent, they didn't criticise it, they didn't even, win, even to discuss to make the situation more easy for workers. No. Um... The Italian workers, they left them out to dry. Because people, these people, three main trade unions, they do not give a fuck about workers' rights anymore. Probably 30 years ago, when things were a lot more different, and they really defended workers' rights. These days, they tend to bow down to the bigger corporations, uh, doggy style and get shagged by these people and there's a bit of a hypocrisy one of these trade unions played the victim and then afterwards he's even got the courage to criticise his, um, his uh, master which happens to be draggy remember that episode when those fascists stormed the trade union building of the CGL Rome at September and it was an authorised um, protest for these fascists. Now that you've seen Landini and embracing Draghi. Now he spits in the same plate where he eats from. And um, these people tend to um, defend... Um, other strange social categories like dinghy divers and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to these days workers' rights, they put on a show, make themselves so important. They're losing ground. Um, one of the major trade unions um, lost a lot of memberships um, because they're. Those people were, who had membership, they felt betrayed. I have to pay a trade union um, a membership for these people to probably fuck all and defend your rights. And defend rights of, um, not of them, like I said, of uh, social classes. It was a nice day when they defended them, um, students, pensioners workers, unemployed people. Now, they are sold out to the narrative. And plus they even promote the magic potion. They say it's the sa it would be our saviour from this crisis, health crisis which we are facing. It's a load of bullshit. They are the psychics of the system. And the more corrupt those people who empower.